Welcome to Source Code Organics. Today we are going to see a different fruit that, that is custard apple. It's a green corn shaped fruit with a leathery skin and creamy sweet flesh. It has a similar taste to other tropical fruits like bananas, pineapples, pears, uh, that group. Custard apple has a number of health benefits. Among them is that it's rich in antioxidants, which fight free radicals in your body. It may also boost your mood. It has an excellent source of vitamin B6, which plays an important role in creation of uh, the hormones that regulate your mood. Surprisingly, uh, inadequate levels of vitamin B6 may contribute to mood disorders. Custard apple is also rich in nutrients that help in regulating blood pressure, such as potassium and magnesium. The other advantage is that it helps in promoting good digestion in our bodies. So today, let's see how we can easily graft uh, custard apple from a mature uh, tree and then get our fruits in the shortest time possible, maybe in a year's time. For you to graft custard apple, you need to source the scions from mature uh, custard apple tree like this one this one has been fruiting for some years as you can see uh, we have some fruits here so you have to source from a mature custard apple uh, plant otherwise if you graft from a non-mature plant uh, well the, the graft will be successful but you'll take it will take more than four years for you to get the first fruits so I'll use this uh, cutting from this end as you can see there are some flower buds here so it's completely mature it normally gives fruit so this part is ideal for grafting I'm going to show you how to graft custard apple uh, plant. The main purpose for grafting is that you'll shorten the fruiting period. Normally a custard apple will take up to seven years to start fruiting. However, if you graft it, uh, the next fruiting season you'll get some fruits. This one is about uh, one meter from the ground around three and a half feet so i'm going to graft it and then after four weeks we shall see the progress i will cut it in here this way I'm going to cut it this way together with this then you can use your pruning scissors to cut along the middle here, the middle, cut along, like half an inch. it that way this is a piece of clear masking tape I'm going to use it to hold uh, the joints together now you need to cover this part with a polythene paper uh, then you will remove it after a week's time 
there are two ways to cover the part with or this part with polythene paper you can just add a polythene paper then tie it else you just tie it using polythene paper like this one so i'm going to add a polythene paper and then tie at the bottom here you can see i'm going to tie it in here you can use a masking tape to fix it down here After two weeks, we will remove this polythene paper and then we'll see if it has developed some shoots. If we see uh, some signs of emergence of shoots, then uh, it will mean that we have uh, our successful graft. If we do not see signs of uh, new shoots, then uh, it will mean that our graft is not successful. So we are going to see that in two weeks time. If you find this information helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Again, hit the notification button for future uh, videos of future updates that we'll do on this channel. Thank you. Bye and God bless you.